Hello, my name is Alexandra. Um, we met a bit uh, some, some times ago already, Diane. And uh, it's a pleasure to have you today. Um, this today is the day of my presentation. Um, I recreate the installation of the movie, which will be diffused in the, in the platform and in YouTube. The movie is my defile, is my show. Um, and I build a collection around this idea of building um, different women, different character around the table. They're having a dessert dinner because, you know, I like cake, so it's my brand, so I have a dessert dinner. And they're all very different. They all come from different backgrounds and they all have their own personality and their own style. And the link is a prince, you know. As you know, I'm always doing the print myself um, with this painting touch that I like to have. And uh, um, this time I start the collection to have in my mind the Villa Farnese of Caprabola and the floor and the wall of the Villa Farnese. So I start to have those graphic patterns. And on the top of that, I had um, um, type, uh, uh, lip, lip art print, a bit thrilling because there's a movement in it. Um, so that's the collection. Voila. Great. So take me through the pieces. Yes, sure. Um, so you have um, so here the thing, you know, of the. This is also like animal print, different size of animal print, and this one I actually painted myself directly on the top of the fabric. That's why I also paint the table. The jewelry, it's my second collaboration with Gossens. So I'm, um, I'm very proud of this collaboration because I love Gossens, as you know. I love the way they treat the metal. Um, it's always very uh, organic. Uh, and um, it's, um, I think if it's totally this character that I try to build. Here's like the same print that I was speaking about the Villa Farnese with two different bases. Like you have the silk crepe de chine and then you have a cotton poplin skirt. It's not quite dry okay. <laughs> because I did it this morning. And uh, if one person should I be be uh, beaten, it's you because you're always like in black, so people will notice where you give it. But maybe it's a good thing. Maybe I should tell, ask you to go more, even more closer, so yeah, people you know, so people will know. You remember you for that. Um, and you know, um, the thing is, so I have I have a lot of fun with this jewelry. I also have some glasses, you know. quickly the silhouette you know I always do like a ring like that and I try to have this exactly effect on the on the ears. And the silhouettes are kind of interesting and new. I think it's uh, excuse me what is new? You have some new silhouettes. Yes I, I have a little bit more freedom you know Covid went there. The funny thing is when I started to do my collection I wanted to have a precise idea of the silhouettes. I wanted to say this is my look this is my silhouette and I will go around that and I will try to make it perfect. I think after three, four, four seasons, I wanted to have a little bit more freedom. So I still going on with the same skirt as always like, with the same lens and the spackle and the, and the slit, you know, on one side. But on the top of that, I have those dress, for example, which is a bustier, perfectly maintained, but I have this bag effect a little bit, you know, yeah, and I like that it's not close to the body. Um, I have also a pyjama, something I never did before. But I'm still going on with my neckline, which are always very open, like a décolleté. Nice. The portfolio blouse is becoming a uh, short sleeve with a tie, but at the end, it's still the vocabulary that I like. And what is very, uh, the continuity is also the link in between the print, because you always have a color which is there and going to the next print. And sometimes you know, even the print, which seems to be different, you can mix with them, you know, because the elements which are here, they're going to be present also there, and they're going to also be present there. So this is a kind of conversation that I always like to have. Um, I did masks and, and hats also this summer, in front of the seaside, actually. Uh, I wanted to have this um, craft, can I say craft touch? Yeah. Uh, which is a... Uh, 
sorry? Artisanal. Yes, yeah, something a little bit artisanal because, you know, as I try to have this couture touch, something a little bit more rustic and something a little bit more with my hands would make, a, would make it more interesting, I guess. And I think there's something with the hat at the moment. Someone is, you know, I mean, if we can call it a hat, I'm not sure we can call it a hat. We can, yeah. So, in between hat and mask, I guess. Great. Voilà. Very nice. And it's a trench coat over the pajamas, right? The trench coat is becoming like um, the jacket. a jacket. Let's, let's say. Mm. Let's see the back of it. Yes, with pleasure. The trench is also coming as a jacket here. Mm -hmm. And I have the, normally it's touching the floor, but because I have, a, I wanted to have it a little bit high, you know, I, I left a little bit the stockman. But I like to have this big bit in the, in the back touching the floor. Very nice. It's very flattering. And here, it's interesting with the... this is my favorite spread because, you know, I like it to have um, the print, you know, and I just fold in the in the pattern. So here you have only the blue, and you can see here what is going on. The backs are all very interesting. Well, I think it's, it was a choice yesterday because I really wanted to have the same, you know, around the table. So hopefully the backs need to be nice because otherwise you cannot show the back. <laughs> and I think it's also something a bit, how can I say, Instagram makes the front so important. And I'm not only about the front, I guess. I think it's nice, you have to look good when you're turning yourself, when you're sitting on the table, when you're moving, and this is also very important. And now I think people are too much used to see only the face and only the thing. It, I think, you know, I feel the same with the plastic surgery, actually. When you build your, you know, when you just consider your front, you make sometimes a mistake. You have to see yourself in different <laughs> angle, and then maybe you will do a better job. There's an awful lot of plastic surgery now. Sorry? It seems to be a trend, plastic surgery. Yeah, I think it seems to be a trend. I mean, I, I understand everything. It's just like when you do something, just watch yourself into different angle. Yeah. I think it's important, no? Yeah. Great. I like it. The 